In this video, I'll show you my secret technique to transform any font into a stunning metallic text effect. Jump into Illustrator and create a new document. For your reference, these are the colour swatches I'll be using throughout the tutorial. And then using the type tool, just drop some text onto the artboard. The font I'm using is Futura. Once you've created the text, right click and go to Create Outlines. And then while the text is still selected, go to Object Ungroup. And then while the text is still selected, go to Object Path, Offset Path. And then we want to offset the path by around 10 pixels. And then what we want to do is regroup each individual character. So the original shape and the offset shape are in a group. So highlight the first character, press Ctrl G on the keyboard to group, and then move on to the next lot of characters. Next, zoom into the first character and then press Ctrl Y on the keyboard for outline mode. And then using the pen tool, what we want to do is each corner, we want to join the outside shape to the inside shape. And we want to do this for each corner. Once you've done your first shape, then just move on to the next shape. Once you finish all letters, simply press Ctrl Y to come out of outline mode. Next, make a selection around everything and then all these small individual shapes we need to separate into their own shape. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either use the Pathfinder tool using the trim option, but the only downfall to this is each corner leaves like a one pixel line on each join, which means you're gonna have to do a lot of cleanup work after. Or the other thing you can do is if you press Shift M on the keyboard, for the shape builder tool and then simply zoom into each letter and just click each one of the individual shapes it is a bit tedious but like i say it just cuts down any of the clean up work that you have to do after Once you've separated each individual shape, select everything and then go to Object Ungroup. And then just make sure that everything is separated and then select all the main characters and just fill that with a random color just so we can identify the edge ready for the next step. Starting with our first character, select one side of the shape, switch the solid fill color over to a gradient fill and then we want to add five points into the gradient slider. The first point we want to set the location to zero the second point we want to set the location to 25 then 50 then 75 and then obviously the last one should be 100 starting with the 100 double click and then select the darkest color and move on to the next one which is the 75 and select the second darkest color and then repeat the process until you've gone all the way through each color and then we want to set the gradient direction to 90 degrees and once you've done your first shape then select all the rest of the shapes on on that letter then using the eyedropper tool which is I on the keyboard just color pick that first gradient now what you're looking for are the edges of each shape it should be the opposite ends of each other so obviously this first one ends with the darkest at the top so the next one should start with the lightest then goes to the darkest so the next one again should start with the lightest end with the darkest and then just check that, that that's the case all the way around. So I can see this bottom one ends with the darkest and then starts with the darkest. So select that shape and then just flip the gradient to the other side. And then obviously just go around the shape and repeat it so it all matches up. And then finally, rinse and repeat for all the other characters. Once you've added all the gradients, select each one of the inner letters and then just change the color to white and then hold down the Alt key and then drag, hold down the Shift key and then just move a copy of that to the top as we'll need this later on. Reselect all the characters, just the middle shape. Again, using the eyedropper tool, which is I on the keyboard. And then we just want to color pick the gradient which we used around the edge. And then we just want to flip the gradient so it's 90 degrees. So the darkest part of the gradient is at the top. Next, select the pen tool, which is shortcut P on the keyboard, and then just make a line a little bit bigger than the 
biggest let out within your word and we'll just switch the solid fill over to a stroke fill so we can see it select the path and then go to effect distort and transform and then zigzag set the size to five pixels make sure that it's set to absolute and then the ridges per segment we want to set to around two and the points we want to use is smooth next go to object expand appearance select the pen tool we'll shortcut p on the keyboard and then we just want to start off on either left or right side select the point hold down the shift key to keep the line straight and then we just want to create a set of straight lines to join everything up finally select the shape and then flip the stroke over to a solid fill press i on the keyboard for the eyedropper tool and then just color pick the gradient make sure the gradient is set to 90 degrees so the darkest part of the gradient is at the top next select the white character of one of the letters and then go to edit copy and then edit paste in place and then holding down the shift key drag the letter down until the center of the shape roughly starts at the top of the curvy line and then using the direct selection tool which is shortcut a on the keyboard select the bottom points of the shape and then just move that up until it's just touching the bottom of the character select the character then go to object compound path and then make then select both shapes right click and go to make clipping mask once we've added the clipping mask we just want to move this shape back over the top of our existing character so select the bottom shape hold down the shift key and select the main character shape let go of the shift key and then single click on on the main character and then horizontally and vertically center that shape over the top using the direct selection tool which is shortcut and the keyboard select this part of the character and then select the gradient tool and then what we want to do is move the gradient using this black dot and we just want to move that up so the lightest color starts just where the wave is and then the top black square we want to select and move it down to resize the gradient so the darkest part is touching the top part of the character and then we want to repeat that that for each character obviously don't recreate the curvy shape what you can do is just double click on the clipping mask double click again and then select the curvy shape go to edit copy double click on the artboard to come out of isolation mode and then just press ctrl v to paste it onto the artboard and if you wanted to you could paste it a couple of times just so you have a copy of it ready for when you do the next characters Once you've completed those steps, make a selection around all the white characters at the top, right click and go to arrange bring to front, flip the solid fill over to a stroke fill and then under the stroke panel we want to select all the middle options so a round cap round corner and then we want to align the stroke on the inside of the shape next it's just a matter of moving the shapes over the original ones and to do that select the outline shape select the main character shape and then let go of the shift key then single click to make that the highlighted shape and then vertically and horizontally center the stroke over the top Once you've moved the outline shapes over the top, simply make a selection around each character and then press Ctrl G on the keyboard to group them up into their own individual groups. Next, it's just a matter of moving the shapes or moving the letters back into their original position. Once you've moved all the characters back together, make a selection around everything and then finally group them up into a final group horizontally and then vertically center the text within the artboard. And there you go. I hope this tutorial has helped you unlock the secrets to creating stunning metallic text in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to like this video, drop a comment and subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials and tips. If you're hungry for more design related content, be sure to check out one of these videos. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.